Hey everybody, Wanna Wisdom here, 512. It is uh, Tuesday, May 12th, 944 p.m. I know what you're thinking, that's early and you are right. Uh, basically, it's almost halftime in the Rockets Clippers game, and I just need to record one episode here. <laughs> and uh, then I'm gonna see the end of the game while I, while I process all the stuff we did last night. Don't, I probably didn't go to bed. So there we go. Picking right up where we left off. And let's see, I, what's on the agenda today? Uh, piecemealing our wheat farm together, uh, maybe tidying some things up out there, and then I actually, what is that, something burning? Uh, I was hoping it was a skilly, but um, I think I heard a chicken. Oh, slender, there we go. But um, what was I going to see? Yeah, just this one episode I'm going to do right now, and then we're kind of, what was that? Oh, oh, I don't know how I feel about this guy, because I'm afraid a creeper could come. I'm trying to be cautious. Okay. Oh god, oh god. Run, run, run. Prophecy fulfilled, prophecy fulfilled. <laughs> okay, I had a lot of trouble, because <clears throat> the air conditioner's running, I kind of heard something, and I was like, that sounds like footsteps, and I could not figure it out for the life of me. Okay, those craters are what's problematic. What, what, what? Okay, was I shot by that guy? But I could not have possibly been lost. This is a strange day. Um, oh, that was an errant shot, you horrible kind of sucker. Where did he go? Okay. Um, God, what was I even trying to say? <laughs> um, man, that's this is not a good start to this thing, is it? So, yeah, this happened, and it was unintended. Um, something important I was actually trying to convey to you, and I'm not sure what it was. <laughs> um, what was I even... I don't know. So I went to the dentist. Um, that's what I was doing last night. That's why I didn't finish this off last night. I actually did try to get some sleep. It uh, didn't really work out that well, but hey, uh, I, I put forth some effort, and uh, let's see here. Gosh, this was just not not good, what's happened to us thus far. Um, <clears throat> all kinds of action, <laughs> apparently. So, I thought I heard a chicken, and then apparently there were some skeletons, and creepers and another skeleton and a zombie that burned so strange strange things but the air conditioner's on and I can barely hear over my headset uh, dadgum you stack of 16 why can't you be 64 like everything else uh, what could we unload something um, no no let's just go to the big chest then I'd like I guess I'll grab that gravel just because it's there but I've totally lost my train of thought I'm planning to just do this one episode tidy this up get back on I've uh, before I ate supper I sent episode 91 getting processed so that was advantageous to us um, what else can we unload some of this stuff I guess all right, so let's just pretend we're starting from here. And I nearly did that. I nearly just came out here to save time. And, uh, oh, the things you would have missed. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a little frazzled. Like I said, this was supposed to just be something real quick I was going to put together and then get back. And while the video's processed and whatnot, I was going to come in and uh, we were going to go about trying to finish this up and, you know, I don't know, I'm still kind of dumbfounded by everything that has happened to us here, so, you know, I think I'll just leave that, and, uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens, so, alright, I think I had a rotten flesh slot in here, do I not? I do not, that's crazy, we should probably expand that and make that a double chest. Man, so what was I trying to get across? Just simple things, I think we've covered it. That was just a really weird 
if that skeleton shot me from behind, from inside that tower, there is no way. I have never been launched that far by a skeleton before. I don't even know what to make of that. So I do have three pins. I was curious about that. I have something I want to test in this wheat area. Uh, there's no water in any of these, as you can see. Um, let's see. What I want to do, we'll just test it here. How about that? Uh, drop that down. Well, that was stupid. <laughs> and what I'm trying to figure out is I want this to be as efficient as possible, not for farming per se, but rather for um, getting the most wheat in the least amount of time. So I'm going to put water down there. And then we're going to bucket that out, bring this down. I guess actually this would make more sense, wouldn't it? Alright, so I want to throw that there. And then I want to see if that acts as an irrigated plot. Because if it does, I think what I'm going to do is just demolish a whole block off of this, put water down underneath the entire thing, and then kind of take it from there. So see what happens. I'll just go ahead and plant all around it and then we'll kind of track our progress. So right now we're dry land farming with the exception of this area. And should I... I guess we could unload the rest of the wheat. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Just to free up the inventory slots basically. <laughs> and wayward seed right there. So that's done. Let's get this bucket in. And I should probably go ahead and make a source, but we'll do that pretty soon. We're just going to fill these guys up. And I guess just repeat this way. But That was a crazy uh, start to the episode. <laughs> uh, it's a little, little odd for that to have happened. But I, like I said, I don't know how I could get... It was like I was blown up by a creeper from behind that we didn't see and then we got hit by the creeper that we knew was a known entity but who knows man it's getting crazy out there now that would be I think our center plot that's looking like it's irrigated and it should then fan out but we'll see exactly how it's gonna play out Alright, there's that one, there's that one. This should finish this off. This is not final by any means. It's just for now we're going to have some uh, wheat available to us on a larger scale and separated. So that's going to be okay by me. We will grab this. And I think I have... There's my torches. So we will throw that in. Alright, uh, strange, strange things. But for those wondering, the dentist went fine. <laughs> and uh, I get just like the regular cleaning deal. So you always hope that they don't need money so they don't like fabricate something wrong with your mouth. And it's funny because like now, anytime there's a cavity, it's like you got to get that filled. And back in the day, you know, like when people were more like, I don't know, maybe honest, it was like, oh, you know, if you hit that with some fluoride toothpaste, that should fill in on its own. And you won't have to worry about it. And now you rarely hear that. I had a friend that uh, lived in California for a little while, somewhere around south of San Diego, and she went to this like old school uh, dude when her husband was stationed out there, and that's what he did. He was like one of those ones they didn't like check her paperwork or have some like extensive new patient procedures. It was just kind of like, oh, you need to get your teeth cleaned. Okay, they look clean to me. Why? Why are you wasting our time? But uh, I am still frazzled and like this is not quite what I had planned to be doing. But all right, I'm gonna see. Like I said, my experiment is basically to see what happens to that center block that still shows to be irrigated. It's that one right there, and we will gauge its progress. But if that's the case, I may just have a lake bed under it. It would be like essentially if I were to build. You know, a dirt block, one high and then go across this whole thing. That's kind of what we would be uh, testing out. So, I've never actually done that in PC. I've just always kind of done like a trough. Uh, let's grab some of these. At this point in time, I don't care if one or two of the chickens come out. 
Just because we've reached our maximum number. Haha. -ha. But I'll let you stay since you know. Alright, so now we're heading back to the haunted base. <laughs> and I said prophetically a few episodes ago, I was like, we should probably put some torches in that tower. It was when we killed a zombie, I think. And uh, apparently that would have been smart. So I think we will do that. I was always going to get back in here and like finish them off. We just, we haven't gotten around to that. Maybe, oh, that does a lot. <laughs> Alright, so that'll work. Um, I think we still have a pig in the other tower. I guess day two will hope starts better. And I'm very leery of actually coming over here because of creepers. I'm not going to chance it. Plus there's some, seems to not be a door. <laughs> so that's always a sign. <laughs> But let's see here, do we have anything we want to unload? 16 eggs. That should give me two chickens, that never happens though. Let's just... I think I heard a chicken again. I don't know. Let's go to bed and uh, see what we can't do. Before we do that, I've got 24 steps. 29 slabs. Let's crank out a few more. I think would be the thing to do. There they are over here. There's some Cobell. Oh, 40. That should be more than sufficient. Let's just go ahead and exhaust that stack. Okay. So we've got one stray slab. We're going to call the night. Go out and see if we can actually be a little bit more productive today. Bear in mind, the hardest part to that might actually be us getting out of our own front door. <laughs> Alright, so I am surprised there's not a creeper just right... Oh, look at that guy. Let's just watch the smoke show from in here. <laughs> okay, so he's gone. You know what would be great is if he would drop a potato. Or a carrot. Or both. And I don't know, do zombies drop feathers in this console edition? I've never seen it. Back in the day was a thing. I guess I should look around before we... I'm a bit, uh, a bit leery of this game right at the moment, so that is just rotten flesh. I could care less about that. Although I do need to get the Iron Belly achievements, I guess. So, this can blow up and it's not gonna be the end of the world, although it's very hard to check in there. <laughs> so, there's that. Um, Alright, so, let's carefully tread around the perimeter of our base. We should probably put some torches down here, <laughs> just in case. Um, let's see. don't see anything just yet, so we'll roll with that. And I'm thinking the bridge should be... Maybe off of this center tower. So that would basically be right there. We're probably going to get blown up. Uh, which won't be great. But I think this tree is going to have to come down, sadly. I've had all intentions of leaving that guy, but uh, it's just not going to happen. So he was a survivor. I didn't really mind him, but I kind of want the bridger. Actually. Or would I want the bridge? Maybe we're not going to do that. Maybe I need to do something else first. Um. <laughs> Maybe we'll make a couple of bridges. I don't know. I'm trying. I've got something I'm planning, and I can't tell you about it. But. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is one of it's, I it's I can't tell you what I'm wanting to do because it's going to be a surprise, but I wanted to get the bridge done at least. And I'm not quite sure how to go about that. So Huh. <laughs> this isn't good. 
Uh, I'm wondering if I should like end this or something. Let's uh I might do some checking off camera again. You're not gonna miss anything, you'll see it. Uh, again it's kind of something pre planned, so it's nothing too crazy. Well actually I think it'll be neat. I think people will enjoy it. But let's just go I don't know. I don't really have torches on me though, dang it. Uh there's always skellies in here. Well that is it wow. <laughs> Not a good sign right there. Alright, so. We need to secure the perimeter here. I do not need to get knocked down that. So let's just... I don't have gravel handy, so we're just going to do that. And the hold up here now is I didn't plan on doing this. So I don't really have... <laughs> uh, the gear to go caving. Or all the inventory slots I would like. But, we'll go ahead and uh, knock out a few steps, I suppose. And then I've got to do some checking, and then maybe we'll do our bridge. I'm not 100% sure. But this whole episode's kind of just gone haywire, to be honest with you. And I'm not sure why. So, <laughs> let's, uh, maybe we'll just scout this a little bit. Tons of coal here. And, okay... He seems to be moving very fast, doesn't he? I'm going to let him come to me. Oh, what is going on? Okay, this is a very uh, scary place, isn't it? There's some iron. We really need to get out of here. Because, I mean, let's be honest, we weren't planning on doing any of this. Now we kind of have an idea what to expect. Looks like there's a light source down there, too. That's a very scary hole. Uh, where does this go? Outside. Excellent. And, yeah. So, we kind of got a slight feel for <laughs> that. Uh, again, I only had three torches because I was supposed to be doing some other things. Uh, which now I'm going to have to kind of try to do stealth like and keep it from just still got a lot of daylight here what should we do don't really know whoa we could build a staircase there but why do that this is an early staircase we had and I believe we've covered that up I think we got some of our like early iron from this there's a creeper yeah so we've been down in here Hello. Does he seem to be moving faster? Not necessarily now, but at the beginning. I feel like... Oh my gosh. I got locked in place there. I felt like he was just kind of rocking along. There's his buddy. He doesn't seem to be crazy fast. I don't know. This is the glitched water block area. So there's a waterfall. Uh, this is one of our huts we haven't visited in a while, so welcome to Nostalgia. <laughs> um, rotten flesh, excellent. And that, I think this is where I made the suit of iron armor. So that's kind of a flashback for you, <laughs> I guess. I, I don't know, that was like definitely within the first five episodes, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So we've got all that going. Sometime soon we'll kind of get going through on the good grief caving we should probably while we're here cover that up just for our own safety although let's see we should be able to place that and that and let's see what this is doing all right so like i said no torches <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, that's just hilarious. It's good to know, I guess, that we've got this stuff over here. It was kind of, I was actually surprised when we went down our, uh, initial stair step mine there that we didn't hit a cave in the main branch. That was, actually worked out really well for what I was wanting to do with it. Uh, best thing that could happen now is we, like, wander upon some rogue chickens or some sheep as we meander about. And I have to not accomplish what I had intended to. There's that creeper. I guess he found his way out, too. But I'm worried about the sheep population now. 
Seems like the wolves may have gotten them all. So we'll have to spend some time looking for that. I guess we could have harvested the reeds. We're actually past 20 minutes. But uh, the bridge will go somewhere in this area. And you will see it later. I guess we'll check the wheat. Might be something worth doing. I feel like that wolf teleported, or else he's really dumb and fell. Maybe he just went over the hill. I don't know. Uh, no sheep up there. Actually, there is one. That's probably why he's a survivor. He had to learn to climb that steep hill that he can't get off of. So, uh, that's what happens when your habitat is overrun by unchecked predators like Mr. Wolf. I'll probably wind up shoveling what we just placed, but hey. Alright. So there's that. We could run through here, see if we can find anybody. I don't think we're going to. Sadly. Mm -hmm. There's another little cave over that way. Not the way I'm headed, but the way we were headed. Now it's going to get dark on us, and you probably want to see if I can make it back. To the you know, we got 22 levels. <laughs> we should probably be careful. I have plans for those, too, believe it or not. may not seem like it, but I've got a lot of plans. And they just all take a lot of time. So, um, Let's try to get out of here, shall we? Alright, so we got everything back under control. And we'll go around the front way, I guess just to make it extra dangerous. <laughs> uh, this was just a total... I didn't even look at the wheat farm like I meant to. Everything in this episode is just, like, bad. Nothing went like it was supposed to. At all. By any stretch of the imagination. So that's what the farm looks like coming in from this angle. And let's check the wheat farm now so we're not complete idiots. <laughs> and... It's the thing I'm interested in is our center block, and I think it has wheat on it. It may not be the center center, but it's, I think, that one right there. If I'm not mistaken, was our water block, wasn't it? There may be that guy there, but I think it's getting the picture, and I believe that would mean I could probably do my uh, under... Underwater, not underwater, but uh, I don't even know. This, I probably shouldn't even use this. I guess I will, since you know, like it started so horribly, <laughs> and now I don't even have done what I wanted to have done, so I could then render this stuff and work off camera on one of the surprises. So, anyway, I'm going to end this. Uh, my apologies. I guess I'll play on into the third quarter without you as I try to figure this out. But uh, I'll wait to go to bed. Again, I don't even know what this was. This was just a total mess. Uh, episode 95, The Mess, I think I'll call it. Because we really didn't accomplish anything uh, at all. Even the caves we went in, we didn't mine anything. So, And now we're out of torches. Well, I guess I should have gotten the cool, shouldn't I? Uh, that said, I will be back, and it will be a better episode. But, uh, yeah, I uh, went to the dentist, and I guess this is what is, and I guess this is what happens on days like that. So, hopefully you're having a better Tuesday, and uh, I will catch everybody back here for episode 96, which I promise will be a much better episode. Granted, that won't be hard to pull off, so... Uh, that's it. I'll catch you back here later. Again, be sure to check out Dual Survival episode 38 went live today on May 12th. You can find that on the Walkthrough Kings channel, uh, youtube.com slash the Walkthrough King. But uh, that's it. I'll catch you later. And I'm going to go try to not do stupid stuff.